Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Iron and Steel Chemistry World. So today we are discussing about calcium oxide and magnesium oxide. So before we go to watch our previous video, how to prepare a liquid sample. This is a liquid sample or main solution or mother solution. This is we are already prepared. Kindly watch our previous video in YouTube channel. Take a clean beaker. Use sucking gun. Pipette out 50 ml a liquid solution. Transfer into a clean beaker. Place it onto the center of the hot plate. Add a ammonium hydroxide. until brown color ppt is appear boil for 5 minutes kept for settle down use a star folded watman 41 filter paper take a two numbers of clean conicals wash with 1s to 1 nitric acid Make up it for up to the mark. Pipette out filtrate solution 50 ml. Transfer into a clean conical flask. Rinse a pipette corner walls with distilled water. Add a 150 ml distilled water each conical flask. Use potassium hydroxide pellets (KOH pellets). Add a 25 ml of ammonia buffer for determination of total hardness. Add a aerochrom black tea indicator, one pinch or two pinch. It is up to. Your choice for color indication. Add a triethanolamine (TEE) buffer. Use 0.01 m EDTA. Note down the initial reading.
color can be become violet color to sky blue color. Note down the final reading, it is 2.5 ml. Add a PNR indicator, pattern and reader indicator. Add a 2 ml of TEE dry ethanol amine. Write rate against to the 0.01 m EDTA. Ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid. Then go for calculation part. Total hardness is equal to 2.5 ml. Calcium hardness is equal to 1.1 ml. So calcium hardness is equal to 1.1 ml. So magnesium hardness. Total hardness minus calcium hardness. It gives magnesium hardness. So 2.5 ml minus 1.1 ml is equal to 1.4 ml. So it is magnesium hardness. So calcium CaO, calcium oxide is equal to uretating into molarity into 5.6074. It is factor from standard weight of the sample so CaO is equal to 1.1 ml purity reading 0.01 ml molarity 5.6074 it is factor divided by weight of the sample equal to 0.2 grams sorry 0.1 gram it is 0.1 gram so CO percentage is equal to 0.62 but actual standard is equal to 0.63 so it is inside the standard mean value So let's go for MGO. We are trading 1.4 into 0.01 molar into factor 4.034. It is factor from standard divided by weight of sample 0.1 gram that equal to 0.56. SRM691 value 0.52. Here I have to explain for 0.2 gram or 0.1 gram how we will get. So 1 gram of sample divided by 250 ml we have make up. So it gives 0.004 for each ml. In that we have pipette out 50 ml. So into 50 it gives 0.2 grams for each ml. So in that we have make up for 100 ml. So into 100 it gives 20. So each ml contains 20 gram of sample. We pip it out here 50 ml. So it gives 0.1 gram. Hope this calculation is very clear for you all. So SRM is equal to 0.52 MGO. CAO is equal to 0.63.